Thanks everyone for joining us. Today we are chatting about Sabanya. Uh, there have been a number of events that have taken place since our last report. The most notable one came in this week with the uh, trading update that was released on Monday. Um, the trading update was negative and the share price has been quite volatile since. The focus of this call will be uh, on the details of the trading update. Um, but on this slide, I'm just going to run over some of the um, other events that have taken place since May. So firstly, um, Sabanya, the lenders uh, agreed to lift the debt covenants temporarily. Uh, in the previous call, we mentioned that they were in discussions to do so, and the covenants were lifted, but they were lifted uh, temporarily. So it's important to note that um, the balance sheet risk is still there and as long as the PGM prices remain low, uh, the risk remains high. Section 189 consultations were concluded for the SA region and this completes a process that started in uh, 2023 uh, and it includes both the PGM and gold operations. The numbers indicate that they uh, were very accommodating. Another event that took place was a cyber security attack and that affected Sabanya's uh, IT systems globally. It had a limited impact on the core operations, but it did result in a delay of the financial results. And then uh, they've also secured a 500 million euro financing facility for the Kiliba Lithium project. Um, and that completes the full financing requirement for the project and also represents an injection of capital for Sabanya. And then finally, the uh, platinum price is trading at slightly lower, about 3.5%, palladium 0.5% and rhodium 0.5% uh, higher, gold's up 7.5%. And then uh, we're not making any uh, changes to our intrinsic value at this stage, uh, but we'll wait for the results which are due on the 12th of September.